Hello guys, welcome to our first vlog of 2022. That is so crazy. I feel like this past year absolutely flew by. It's already 2022. I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas and a fun and safe New Year's. We did have our Christmas special that went up in our last video. If you guys haven't seen that, go check it out. We had a fun day just spent with our family and with Beckham. Um, he was really fun this year, so we had a great Christmas. And now we are kicking off the new year with something that I have been trying to convince Logan to get done and begging him to do for like a year and a half, probably now. Maybe even longer, I don't know. Probably since we've like started redoing our house, which has been a few years now. So, he is finally doing it and it's looking so so good, I can't wait to show you guys. Um, but we are starting on some house projects for the new year. So I'm going to show you guys what Logan is finally doing. I am so excited, let me show you. So if you guys remember in any of our videos or pictures, we did not have kitchen backsplash. We kind of had just remodeled our house and the backsplash was just like the last thing on the list because you know, we were, we lived without it, but it just drove me crazy because it was never done. So Logan started the other day. He has done all of this himself and we now have tiled kitchen backsplash. So it wraps all the way around. We decided to go up to the ceiling and today he is grouting. He has his headphones and I don't know if you can hear a word I'm saying. Hey honey. Can you hear me? What? There he is. <laughs> Guys, I'm how's it grouting. going? He's Good. grouting today. I think. I think. <laughs> you tell me. Start this... looking bad. Tell me stop. <laughs> this was the part he was like the most. I hate grouting. Yeah. Because it's so messy and I hate messes. I'm kind of OCD when I'm like building stuff or like working on house stuff. Right. It just goes everywhere. Yeah. This it's stuff like is messy. Landing it's landing on the light switch. <laughs> just like I know. I was wondering if we should have waited to. Out. He switched our outlets out too, so I'm like, I wonder if we should have waited. But we're trying to keep Get everything. Get right on the cabinet, MBD. Oh, please don't. I'm kind of worried. <laughs> kind of worried about stuff right now. This was the part he was least excited about, but he laid, he cut and laid all of these tiles completely by himself. We still have like some caulking and stuff after the grout. He let the tiles dry for a few days. The mortar. The mortar dry, right. But he cut all of them and laid them and Dude. spaced them out perfectly. We had a laser level in here. There isn't, my dad wasn't lying. When my dad grouted our bathroom, I laid all the tile in our bathroom and I called my dad my grout guy. He mm -hmm. was telling me, he's like, there's an art to it. Yeah. I'm like, dude, it's tiny little gaps between tile. What are you talking about? There's an art to it. You got to get it going just the right way where it looks not good. And that's what's funny is because a lot of work goes into cutting these tiles just right and laying them just right and making them look good. Right. But you'll notice your mistakes when you start to grout and when the grout's done. That's when you'll really see. Really stands out. Yeah, so it's kind of the most important part. So I'm kind of stressed out, so I'm just going to turn my music back on, but thanks for tuning in. <laughs> okay, good luck. Thank you. He's doing such a good job though. He has really done amazing at this. He's only tiled one other time and that was our bathroom. If you guys remember our bathroom remodel, we did the same exact tiles, but in the bathroom we did a black grout, if you remember. I'll have it linked down below, but um, we decided to just go white on white in here, white grout. So I love it. I think it's going to look so, it already looks just like so bright and clean and just finished and it makes me so happy. So I'm so excited we are finally getting that done. Um, we'll also have like some trim that will go around the window and like finish off that window sill. You guys see that, the bottom and the side. So we went to Home Depot yesterday and got some trim pieces that will go around the windows. This one as well, we'll kind of put some stuff around it. Kind of dark, but anyways, that is what we are doing and it looks so good. I'm so excited. Are you gonna cry? I'm gonna cry. I'm going to cry, I'm so excited. I'm gonna cry. I feel like it's <laughs> yeah. timed too because it's like you gotta put this on and then it starts to dry and you're like. Right, it's kind of like a rushed, yeah. Like, now you don't just have, have a... all the time in the world. It's like you just gotta 
Yeah, this is quick dry. Quick yeah. dry grout. But so, I think it's doing good. I think I'm just stressing. You're just stressing. So that is what we are kind of up to. We kind of decided um, before this baby comes. And just for this year, we want to keep finishing our house and kind of, we don't plan to live in this house forever, so. But we would like to get it finished, you know, because hopefully within the next year or two, we really want to start putting our money away and saving for a new house because with our two boys and the dogs and us, we're, we are just outgrowing this house very quickly. But along with finishing the kitchen, next week, as soon as the kitchen is done, or probably this coming week, we are going to be working on Beckham's bedroom because that is another thing that we have just kind of, I never quite finished it the way I wanted to. Like his room has never been done in my mind. And so we actually got him a toddler bed ordered. He's got his own big boy bed coming. We have a paint color in mind and like a design on the wall we wanna do. So we will be working on getting Beckham's bedroom done next. And then once that is done, we will do the baby's room. I'm out of breath. <laughs> so we have quite a few house projects to work on. But, and then like in the middle of that, Logan also has a few work trips two work trips this month in January, so he'll be gone a little bit of the time, but it's kind of what we are wanting to work on and get done. So that is what we will be up to, but I feel like, you know, if you own a house, like there is always something to do, always some home improvement. Like we still have quite a bit of work left to do in this house, but anyways, I am excited with the progress so far. We've got some work cut out for us, but Logan is doing such a good job. I'm curious what are some of your guys' resolutions for 2022? And maybe what goals did you hit in 2021? Logan and I were kind of talking about this and realized that our 2021 was a pretty relaxed year. We didn't do a whole lot. No, we didn't do a whole lot at all. We, we, made a like, baby. we had sex. <laughs> sex. We did make a baby. So we're growing our family. Logan got a new truck. We went up to the cabin like once, but we really were like, what did we do all year? Because what did we do? <laughs> I went to Alaska twice. Logan did like travel a, a lot in 2021. Um, and I like more money this year than I ever had before. That is actually something that we were both pretty proud of. We had some like personal goals and like Logan had some like work things that he accomplished and I also did. I feel like one of the big ones is we both worked really hard and my dream of being able to be a stay at home working mom came true, which is big. That's like a big thing to accomplish. And I had like some personal, like financial goals for myself that I hit pretty dang hard this past month. So I was pretty excited about that. So that's always a good feeling, but oh yeah, we did like the entire bathroom remodel. So there was still some house stuff. That's kind of what we forgot, but we didn't really go anywhere. I feel like the year just absolutely flew by. So I don't know. I want to hear some of your guys's though. Tell me what you accomplished and what you did. But one thing that we kind of realized was we had not gone on a date or even just to dinner, like the two of us since our anniversary in June. Is that right? Since our anniversary in June, we did celebrate three years of marriage last June. Yeah. That's a big accomplishment. So I actually called my mom last night. I was like, what are you doing tonight? And she was so nice. She watched Beckham for us for the night. And we went to a movie together. We went and saw Spider-Man. Did you like it? Was that it? It was I, yeah. It wasn't what we expected. I felt like it was kind of like a teen, teen bopper. I, I sound old when I say that, but it's kind of like a teen movie in my mind. Like it wasn't like the classic Avengers Marvel type movie, but it was okay. We got to get out and then Beckham actually had a sleepover at my mom's house. So we got to sleep in today until like 930 and it was amazing. So anyways, Beckham is actually home now. He is taking a nap and just doing tile today and I need to kind of clean up this house. But that's what we are up to. I will show you guys Logan's progress as he goes, but that's what we are up to. Hope you guys had a happy new year and we'll see you in just a bit.
Okay, it's actually like a week later. We kind of jumped right into the new year with home project after home project, but the kitchen is done. Logan is going to show it to you. Um, also, I don't sound very good. I woke up not feeling good, but our kitchen looks so good. So Logan is going to show you and then I'm going to give you a sneak peek of what we are working on that we are almost done with that we also started. So look at my kitchen. Turned out really well, you guys. Um, this is the first tile job that I took on totally by myself, but it turned out really good. We went with it the looks same- so good. Uh, like four, what is it? Like three by 12? Yeah, three by 12 tiles that we used in the bathroom. Um, we went to white grout. Came out really even and good. Um, kept the grout lines really well. It's hard in these older homes because, you know, your walls are never going to be truly plumb. Yeah. Nothing's really square. It's not like yeah. a new construction house. So we ran into an issue with some sloping on the countertops and that's just from the floor. This house and is so uneven. We it was realized lower that. actually over here than over here. So I had to throw my grout lines off just a hair to keep that line to match up with that corner. But since we figured we have the Keurig, yeah. And stuff in the corner and whoever buys this house will probably have stuff in the corner. It's probably best to throw the grout line there rather than there. But other than that, it came out really well. We caulked it, did white grout, trimmed yeah. the window up. So I just had a unfinished tile to the edges and I kept them all straight and then just got this outside corner PVC trim to go around. Also had a small gap under the window. Um, I stuffed insulation and did a small under piece for trim. Yeah. It just looks finished. Let me close this and see if it. Sorry, it's kind of dark. There, you can kind of see he did trim around the windows to kind yeah. of finish it off and just finished grouting at the top. But yeah, like you said, we did white grout with the white subway tile, and I think it looks really good. You yeah. did a good job. Did all new outlets. They had the old yellowish ones, so we did white. This one's pretty sweet. This actually has two USBs straight into the outlet, so you don't need that little yeah. lock. It's the one with the USBs. Plug the USB right into it, but yeah, if you're happy, honey, I'm happy. It looks so good. Get it all the way it's up just to the one thing off of our, our checklist. So our kitchen is done, and now I will show you guys. Look how good it looks. I always just walk in. I just love like bright white and clean. <laughs> you got? Those are my swimsuit bottoms. You got, you got mom's bikini on? <laughs> you want me to pull you? Yeah. Back up. <laughs> anyway, so our kitchen looks so good. That was like one thing on our checklist that I'm like, I need this done before the next baby comes. And you guys have probably noticed in our videos, like it was just never finished over here. So my kitchen is done. I can't say completely done because we have like baseboards and stuff to do. <laughs> you can't make me laugh, I'm sick. <laughs> You are silly. Come here, let's show them what else we've been doing. This will be in one of our next videos, but little sneak peek of bed. Beckham's room. Bed. You got a new bed, huh? Yeah. <laughs> little bikini. Beckham's big boy bedroom bed. is in progress. We jumped straight from Good. the kitchen Good. to Beckham's room, Good. so stay tuned for this. Anyways, I'm going to end this vlog here, our first vlog of 2022. We are just doing home projects all around because I definitely feel like I am nesting. We are two months or less away from meeting this new little one. So I definitely feel like I'm nesting. We're trying to get a lot done. So stay tuned. We have a full video of Beckham's bedroom coming. His full toddler room is in progress. But thanks for watching our first video of 2022. And we will see you in the next one. Thanks, thanks for stopping by, you guys.